<laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Hello, my name is Matthew Swanson, and this is my dear friend Caitlin Terrell. And we would like to present to you The Lake Isle of Innisfree by Ben Moore. Beautiful, Ben. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And how difficult is it to sing not only for the composer, but the gent it was written for? It's, yeah, beautiful, right? Gorgeous. Um, beautiful. What am I supposed to say to that? It was gorgeous. You would have to be dead not to love this song. It is so beautiful. It is the Danny Boy of art song. It is just... It is so, I, 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 there's something in this, in the rise and fall of this musical line that is just, it's so beautiful. And you sing it so gorgeously. I don't have a thing to say about the way you sing it. Not a thing. Honestly. It's not a trick thing, I'm telling you. I have nothing to say about the way you sing it. But I will, I will take issue with how you present it. Okay. Tell me about this poem. 
This was a poem written by William Yeats uh, mm -hmm. about an actual lake in Ireland. Lake yes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the poet uh, is not there in the moment. I think he longs to be there. He longs for it. He longs for this life mm -hmm. of tranquility, solitarity. Uh, and I think that the larger meaning of it uh, is you know, asking, questioning, you know, what's the authenticity of my life? And just I want to go to a place where I can calmly think about that. And, uh, let's see, the poem, what about the poem? Um, that's okay, yeah. that's good, okay. that's good, that's excellent. Okay. I think we all have, an, uh, have, a, have a Lake Isle of Innisfree. I hope we do. I hope we all have some place that we go to that, I mean, this is a place that he visited yearly. And yes, it's, a, uh, it's certainly a place that you go to sort of, uh, I, I, what is, I, I, here's the question I have. What are you hearing in the Deep Hearts core? Uh, I think that's maybe the root of where I feel maybe a little bit of anxiety or feel a little bit of like questioning. I'm not so sure uh, about uh, my own life or what I desire to have. It's just kind of um, this, this. I, you're, you are, you are so thoughtful. You are a thoughtful guy. No, you are. Thank you. Right? It's <laughs> way too thoughtful. Oh, okay. It's so complicated. It's just not that complicated. Okay. I, uh, no, I'm, I'm not making fun of you, my friend. I totally, I love that you are so earnest about this. It's great, and you should be. We should be earnest about it. But it's not that complicated. Okay. You know? I'm just interested in what that is. I'm interested, honestly, because he says right here, I will arise and go now and go to Innisfree in a small cabin built there of clay and wattles made. Simple, mm -hmm. right? Nine bean rows will I have there, a hive for the honeybee, and live alone in the bead loud glade. Right? That's just, you know, gardening. <laughs> and I shall have some peace there. For peace comes dropping slow, dropping from the veils of the morning to where the cricket sings. There's midnight all a glimmer and noon a purple glow and all evening full of linnet's wings, which are lovely birds. I will arise and go now for always night and day. I hear the lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore. That's just comfort, mm -hmm. you know? or a really good setting on my sound machine. While I stand on the roadway or on the pavement's gray, I hear it in the deep heart's core. What is he hearing? It's not a trick question. Hmm? Yeah. There's just, it's, it's, he's take, what's beautiful about this poem is he's going from these very specific things, birds, Honeybee, hives, all very, you know, gardening. General, he goes from very specific to very general to eternity, to huge, gigantic, beautiful, I'm a, I'm a part of this. I hear it in the earth's core, right? I hear it deep in the, in the, in the, in the heart's core, the heart's core. There's just something, it just goes from very specific to very grand, and... I, I love the way that you sing this. I think it's beautiful. But there's nothing, you look very worried while you're singing. You look worried, like it's not someplace you want to go. And you started off looking very, um, well, actually, you, I don't know what you looked like because you had your back to me. Okay. And I like that you started immediately. There was no fuffing around. Right? That's great. That's my, my Len Goodman dancing with the stars reference. There's no fuffing around. You just get right to the dance. That's great. But the problem is, is you started like this, and then you turned around. Now, why, would you, why did you do that? The music started, and I said, oh, it's time to go. Really? Yeah. That's the only reason? I think so. You weren't setting yourself up? Uh, if you weren't, I just say, no, I, Stephanie, I wasn't. No, I, Stephanie, honestly, I honestly wasn't. Fabulous. Great. <laughs> No, no, I, that's, perfectly, that's perfectly legitimate. I just, I'm allergic to this. I'm allergic to not starting with your face out here. You have to start out here, Okay. right? Okay. So wait till you see his face out there because they need to see your eyes before you open your mouth. All right, my friends? They need to see your eyes or they will not hear you, okay? They need to see your eyes or they will not hear you. And that goes for looking down, setting up, which you weren't doing, but I'm going to say you were so that I can make this example, right? <laughs> this, 
this, you know, that, ah, this, you know, let's get started. I'm going to, uh, you know, I just worked with a gorgeous girl who was Lucy Goosey the whole, before she started to sing. I'm like, what are you doing? Look out and just look, turn, look into the audience, take a breath so that she knows you're ready to go and begin to sing. But find your moment, find your connection in the eyes of the people of the audience. And then don't look so nervous. Okay. Knitted brow. That's true. Do you have a problem with your knitted brow? Yes, apparently when I take pictures, I go like with my eyebrows like this. Do you know that there's a good way to, it's bad. That's right, it is. The best, I used to knit my brow a lot when I was singing, and the best way to combat that is to take a piece of cellophane tape, about that long, put it across your head, and every time you wrinkle your brow, something's gonna tell you you did it. And you'll stop doing it. Just make sure you take it off before you come on stage. It would be very memorable. But it's beautiful. The way you sing it is beautiful. And it's very simple and lovely. And I would be, uh, I would be a, a total cretin to ask you to do anything to that, because it's really beautiful. I just would love it if you would not look so darn worried. And think about this text. Think about what this deep heart's core means to you. Think about it. Um, I just want to see, I would love to hear you sing the end of this. Okay, I do have something to say about your singing of it. One thing, be more specific with your dynamics. You, and everybody I listen to, no matter where I am, has the same issue. We don't pay attention to dynamics. They choose dynamics for a reason. If they write forte, they mean it. If they write piano, they mean it. Everybody's forte in piano is going to be different. My piano is different from other people's piano. It tends to be a little louder. <laughs> but if you make, if you're, if you, if whatever you're singing is relative, if your piano is relative to your forte, this was all basically the same dynamic. And there are places that I would love to, I mean, the, the, you know, I will arise and go now. The last verse is pianissimo. And he also writes something very curious above that, my friend. He writes freely, right? He writes freely. Now, when we see that a composer has written the word freely, what does that mean? Who said it? That's it. Now, what does rubato mean, my friends? You you just ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you win the prize. If you take it, you must give it back. That's the rule. You take it, you give it back. But freely means take some time. My goodness, this is a gorgeous rising phrase. This is, a, this is the prettiest way to travel an octave that I've ever heard. <laughs> so do it beautifully. Take your time and sing it softer. Okay? All right. So can we go from there? Just that, me just that measure before so we can, he can set it up and get rid of that knitted brow. So pretty. Is it free? Was it free? It's not free enough. Be a great, you know what, if I tell you to be a great big pig musically, I promise you, you will get nowhere near it. I, you won't. I've heard you sing just one song. You won't even get close to being a real big pig, but just go for it. So, and, and, and your distance to that will be the perfect amount.
so much closer. I told you you wouldn't be a big enough pig. You're not being big enough. Okay. Take time. I will arise and go now. Take time and then go. Or go and then take time. Or do something. Okay. You can't just be pretty. It's not enough. You're already pretty. But it's the truth, though, you know? And I generally, I never have to say this to tenors. But I, will, I normally have to say it to sopranos. But it's not enough to be pretty. You can have a pretty sound. But if it's pretty and it says something, then it's, not, then it's great. Then it's great. Then you're, that's the difference between sound and art. You want to make sound? Great. But you want to make art, don't you? Yeah? Make art. Be a pig now, baby. Go for it. I'm going to help you. Sing it twice as slow. Just slow it down. Gorgeous, gorgeous for both of you. Just gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Such an, thank you so much. Such an ugly voice. So ugly. He's so beautiful. But I tell you something. If you, when, when, I don't want everybody to be smiling all the time when they're singing. Because smiling actually doesn't help us sing very well, right? We all know, don't go to, hi, hi, we can't sing like that. <laughs> but what can, there is something on you that can smile that will show that smile without ever landing on your lips, and it's this. When this smiles, these smile, right? Mm -hmm. So as long as we make, as long as you make real connections, real heart connections, my friends, then this will show. And, and it didn't it? It just shows. It's like a beacon. It is so beautiful. You, I mean, you could go even farther with time. What you need to do is spend more time listening to your partner over here. Because she, she knows what I'm talking about. She's doing it all over the place. Right? Singers, learn about time. Learn about time. You would be amazed. The, thing, the two things that, that singers have the hardest time glomming onto is taking time and being silent. We freak out when we're not making sound. You know, our, our rests are always just a little short. All of my music has the words wait written in it, all over the place. Wait, Warren Jones, wait, wait. I've got it written all over the place. Because when we take time or when we give time, it, there's a, there, there become, the essence of the music is allowed to speak. 
Otherwise, we're keeping, our, we're keeping the music behind bars. And it's not meant to be that way. That's not, it bars us just so that we know where we are. But, it's the, but, the, but, the, bar, uh, but the bar lines can be, we have to live within it, but not be restricted by it. Right? And so when you do that, I mean, it's just beautiful. So never, well, it's not just beautiful, it's special. Never settle for, for just pretty. Always go for special. Okay? It's gorgeous, beautiful, special. All right? Thank you. Thank you.